Hello and welcome to the Open Book Channel. My name is Lady Valheim, your designated open book. I'm just dropping in real quick to give anyone using Atticus, the writing formatting software, a tentative warning. I've been using Atticus for over two months now, and I've got several books in my library on its database, and within the last month, I switched from using Atticus on my laptop to using it on my desktop computer, and I hadn't gone back to my laptop since, that whole time. Because I was traveling, I took my laptop with me, and I opened Atticus after that whole month of exclusively using it on my desktop computer, and something weird happened. I wish I had screenshots of it to show you, but I was just so scared that my files had been overwritten that I I just closed my laptop right away and went to check that everything was okay on my desktop as soon as I could. And it was okay, mostly. So what happened was, even though the program is run and auto-synced through a browser application, Atticus saves backups of your work physically on your computer. And when I opened Atticus on my laptop after it had been so long, it kind of merged an older version with the newly edited version of my book. Some chapters were moved around, which I know because my book is set up into sections. Originally, Originally, I had the sections scattered throughout the text where I roughly wanted them to be, but I chose while I was editing and putting everything together to move them all to the front of the text so that they would get out of my way. It was easier writing and editing without section breaks all over the place, so I'd been working on Atticus with all of the section breaks clustered at the top for weeks, and suddenly they poofed back to where they were originally. Even scarier was that some chapters that I knew I'd deleted were back. Chapters so old that they didn't have names on them yet, which I had given names to since, were back, and unnamed. So, of course, <laughs> I immediately panicked. I was terrified that opening Atticus again on my laptop had restored an older version of my book and I'd lost weeks of writing and editing. It was an instant cold sweat kind of moment. I hurried to my desktop to open Atticus and see what was going on. Would the newest version take over again? I hoped. I prayed. And the strange thing was that it didn't, at least not entirely. Just like how the older version that had synced in from my laptop wasn't entirely made out of old chapters either. What was on the laptop and what I'd seen was still there in some ways. The section headings had replaced themselves back up at the front of the book where I'd last had them, but some of the old chapters that I deleted were also still there. Even though the newer version of those old chapters were also there. So there was a weird amount of duplicates that I had to sort through because it was not easy to tell which chapters were duplicates when the older version is a number and the newer version is a title and you have over 100 chapters. <laughs> As far as I could tell, opening Atticus on my laptop and having some older, deleted chapters magically restored hadn't overwritten my progress. My book was fine, it was just more cluttered, like the older version had deposited bits of itself into the newer draft. So the whole experience was definitely stressful, but not detrimental. Because Atticus is hosted in browser or through auto-synced application, I don't know whether this happened because the cookies from my laptop had saved things and didn't update my draft properly before opening again. I don't know if it's because the backup saved physically on my laptop was so old compared to what I'd been doing in Atticus in the browser on my desktop. And I especially don't know why my book turned into a Frankenstein of my older and and newer draft rather than just one or the other. That's the strangest part of the whole thing, like how it didn't end up overwriting or interfering with different versions of itself. I'm glad that I didn't lose anything, it just also seems like the hardest series of events to explain. The fact that old and new versions of chapters just kind of made room for each other is particularly odd behavior for a software. As much as I don't know exactly what happened or why, I just wanted anyone using Atticus to know that this could happen. <laughs> if you can help it, maybe don't go hopping between computers when using Atticus because it might get confused. If you have to go from one computer to another, maybe save your ongoing backup versions to a thumb drive so you can take it with you between PCs and at least when you're accessing those backups, that will remain consistent. But again, I don't know if that will help. It's just a good idea, I think. Maybe. <laughs> if your book versions merge, remain calm, things might still be okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me and this channel, you can find a link to my Ko-fi in the description below. Patrons get extra content and discounts, so please go check it out. If you're interested in any of my writing, you can find my books on Amazon under Slady Valheim. I also provide a variety of self-publishing services from beta-